Hello and thank you for watching this video. In this video we are going to talk about how to export your results into Excel. First of all let's have a look into my data which I just created for this video. As we can see we do have two IDs which are let's say two families and we do see their incomes in 2020, 2021 and 2023. And now that's the basic part, right? And now you do, usually you do start to create new variables to get the percentage points or whatever you do, right? And afterwards you want to have that back into Excel for many reasons. For example, for example, your colleague is not familiar with data and needs, and needs to have that in Excel to continue to work. That's one of many reasons. And let's say um, he wants to know um, what's the total sum of income. And then you go ahead and type that in. And let's check the browse again. And then you see, okay, in 2020, the two families combined have 8,000 US dollar. And then you want to send that into Excel, these results. That's the command you need. And what you do see is, um, so the command starts with export Excel using, then that's the path where you want to save it. And table three is the is the name of the Excel table you want to use. So I just did table three. And more important is also first row, so the, in the options, first row variables. I think that's quite self-explaining. And then you hit enter and it's saved into the path you chose. And then you can send that to your colleague. That's pretty much it for today. Now also that's possible to do that for Microsoft Word. So you want to have that table into Word. If you're interested in that, check the description box for further information. I did there also a video. That's pretty much it. Thank you and good luck.